If you're a runner interested in how technology can make you better, then stay tuned. It's that time of year again when I see runners filling my office, cross-country athletes, people preparing for marathons, and it can be really frustrating for them when they're coming in with recurrent heel injuries, stress fractures in the legs, even compartment syndrome. Thankfully, there are some tools that we can use to help prevent these injuries. A lot of them deal with running technique and form, the same type of technique that can make them efficient, faster runners. That's where a new tool called DorsaV may be coming in. It's a wearable device that you wear on your legs and it helps measure pertinent information out in the field and you can use it with your usual runs. I'm very curious how effective this tool is going to be, so I'm actually meeting up with a friend of mine. His name is Chris Wolf. He's with Star Physical Therapy here in Nashville. I'm really excited to see how this tool works. All right, let's go. Good morning, man. How are you? Great to see you. Hey everyone, uh, this is Chris, uh, not only an awesome physical therapist, but an avid runner. Uh, he's got the Dorsa V uh, set up here. It looks like quite a bit of stuff, but this stuff typically just stays indoors, and I'll show you what typically goes outdoors. And I use this device here just to measure on my leg so I can keep it symmetrical, my left and right leg. So after a quick mark there, I take these two little pieces here and it has like the adhesiveness on the back. How long do you find that this sticks for? I did a 14 mile run continuously outside. I didn't know if you know, the amount of sweat that I would produce would make it fall off. Um, it didn't seem to want to try to fall off, but I wore some calf sleeves that I have here just in case, yeah. and I had no issues with it. And in fact, when I went to take them off, I had to really pull them off, so they stuck well. And now, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of the sensors. It snaps in place. Just like that. The right one. Just like that. Now for me, I'm gonna go for a run now. So I've got the sensors in place on my legs. That was a quick two minutes, no big deal at all. Now I've got to carry the device that actually receives the information. I need this guy to go with me. This is the receiver that actually is collecting the data here, okay? I can either stick this in a pocket, I can stick this in the back of my shorts here if I wanted to, or I can stick it in an arm sleeve. And I'm ready to go. That's all I gotta do. So I'm gonna go for a run now, and um, I'll be back. Throw my stuff in this uh, on this computer and download some information, and we'll take a look. back into the clinic. We just did a little bit of outside running and data analysis. Now we're going to do another video analysis inside the clinic with Amanda Jacobs. Let's just set her up, mark her legs, so we can place the sensors on her calves. And since we're inside setting, uh, we won't do any type of sleeves. Uh, we'll just use the sensors attached to her tibial shafts here, and then we'll jump onto the treadmill, okay? So that was the door speed tool and it's two major applications, outdoors and then indoors where you can add the video. Overall, I give it a very positive review because right now 
it's making it simpler for runners to look at the high yield information. It takes uh, some of the complicated data out and just reports on the uh, runner's average cadence, their ground reaction force, their peak impact acceleration, their foot contact time, all things that have associations with running efficiency or are known risk factors for injury. It also does something really, really well that no one else is doing. It allows you to go outside and run and still collect data, and that's awesome. But there's still some opportunities for improvement. The major knock right now is the fact that the adhesive doesn't work perfectly. In fact, it falls off fairly frequently. I can stop that. For runners like Amanda, who don't like wearing leg sleeves, it was falling off within about 10 minutes of their runs. I know? felt it on the, the middle pace, kind of wavering, yeah. but I didn't just want to. Just kept going? Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't want to yeah, try to touch it. The first time we did it too, it fell off. Another issue that we found is the feedback. If I can provide immediate feedback while I have somebody on a treadmill, while I've got the sensors in place and I'm seeing the data, but I can implement some type of cue and actually see an immediate feedback so they have more of a swing thought on their next outside run, yeah. all the better, instead of just waiting for between visits. Remember that curve I just showed, the ground force reaction kinematic curve? The issue is while you're running, it just looks like a spike, a single spike, but it can be drawn out. So one of the things we were thinking is that perhaps they could do an average of 10 steps or 20 steps and give you that curve on average so that if your running coach or the therapist is giving you a cue, you can see within 10 steps if that cue is making an objective difference. Another issue is that each set of sensors has to be paired with one particular tablet. Because in a clinical setting, when I have the time to work one-on-one, -on -one, the many times that I have some overlapping of some runners coming in, uh, somebody on the treadmill that I'm providing uh, or gathering data from, but also someone from the side, I'm at, we're actually doing some type of intervention and using the sensors for feedback with some squat or some jump tests or things like that. I don't know how that would have to look, but it'd be great in order to have multiple sensors being able to pull to one central source that can better affect maybe an entire running group at one time. Currently, Dorsavi is working on products for clinicians, but I'm curious about consumers. How about you as a runner? Would you be interested if this was packaged in a way that you could track your own progress on your smartphone? Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Continue to watch our channel to learn more about tools that help athletes and their physicians communicate objectively more efficiently.